All right, quick update on the snow that continues to fall outside. You can see the advisories and warnings behind me. A live shot out the back of our studios with the snow continues to fall. We'll be cycling through some radar images for you as well. First off, though, I want to take you over to some school closings, some new ones being added to the list. Colonial Heights, Dinwiddie County as well. And the list goes down through Nottaway, as I mentioned before, as well as Prince Edward and Middlesex and Lancaster also on that list. I do think that there will be more just based on the conditions that we do have out there right now. So let's head back over and check what we've got here on Doppler Max 6 3D behind me. And this shows better the intensity of the snow bands that we currently have. You see Richmond here, Petersburg here, and this little darker blue area coming on in. That's a band of some heavier snow, so moderate, maybe even heavy snow times between Richmond and Petersburg. So it's going to include the Hopewell area, Colonial Heights, where you see the greens down here. That's very heavy snowfall. Some sleet mixing in as well. A little effect called bright banding, which shows up a little bit heavier on radar returns. But for the most part, I think this is now converted over to all just heavy snow for, again, Hampton Roads and Northeast North Carolina. Heavy snow down toward the Outer Banks as well. And we continue to see these bands developing back to the west to get a very sharp cutoff between and those that get some accumulating snow and those that get just a little bit of a dusting. Let's head over now and to get a check on the advisories again. They've been extended back to the west here where some areas picked up enough snow to cause some travel difficulties because it's so cold outside that anything, even a light amount, is going to cause some slick travel. So you've got to be care careful if you're going to be leaving either late tonight or very early tomorrow morning and hitting the roads. Snow continues out there to push in from the south and west. Heaviest right now across the uh, Piedmont of North Carolina on over toward the Outer Banks. There's the area of low pressure. It uh, continues to slowly intensify. It's not a powerhouse low by any stretch, not a nor'easter, but enough of a low that it is uh, throwing some precipitation back over a very cold Arctic air mass that's giving us the snow. So again, totals here. Metro is going to be in that one to three inch range. South and east of Richmond, we get over three inches. It's going to take a lot to get over six inches, though. That's going to be the area down here in pink, which includes Hampton Roads, far eastern sections of the Middle Peninsula, and then down into eastern sections of North Carolina. Your forecast for the area as we get hour by hour here, we're going to be in the teens for the rest of tonight, dropping into the lower teens as we get into tomorrow morning. All the snow ends before the sun comes up tomorrow, and we'll have some sunshine, but it's still going to be an awfully cold day with a high of only 31. Stay with CBS 6 and keep you ahead of the storm.